Hey guys, Gina back with another pick or treat video. Can you see me right there vlogging? Anyway, and then my little guy right there. <laughs> I wanted to show you my latest project. So yes, so this is my yard sale find. I got it for $40. It's beautiful. I need a place to put all of my valuable <laughs> pick or treats in. Got my little Peyton buddy out here with me. What are you working on? Um, I'm working on stuff. This is a little bit of artwork Harrison thought he would help mommy with. I went inside to get some paint on the plate and Harrison thought he would. Yeah, then now we gotta wash our hands. Yeah. If you can tell, this is the Halloween vintage die cut wall and I've taken all of the pictures down. What's left? is just some nails and screws. There's a box of Halloween right here. <laughs> but we are in transition for the Christmas season. But before that, I thought I needed to give one holiday its proper respects and let it have its day to shine. Here is my Thanksgiving display for 2020. And what's cool is this cabinet is brand new well, new to me, it was actually an antique and I used chalk paint for the first time. <laughs> and you'll have to excuse me because the door, <laughs> I painted everything and then Chris was like, where's the door? I was like, what do you mean where's the door? Oh no. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to work on the door too. But I wanted to show you guys how beautiful this turned out. This is just a charcoal black color and I'll show you guys the can of paint that I used in a second. But yes, so this is gonna be a new place for me to display all of my vintage goodies. Well, in one area that is, but. <laughs> and here's the door. <laughs> so it's not a very big one and there is glass, I took it out, but I'm just using bare chalk decorative paint. And this one was, yeah, just a charcoal classic Noir color, but it actually kind of has a little hint of blue to me. Chris thinks it's black, but it kind of looks blue a little bit. And then I'm just sealing with some Minwax paste finishing wax with just a cloth and then buffing it out. It was actually pretty simple to do. And I definitely would recommend it if you have a piece of furniture that you don't want to sand down too much. You don't want to strip all the finish off, but you want to give it, you know, an upcycled painted look. I definitely recommend it. It worked really well. So as far as my Thanksgiving decorations goes, this is some of the things that I've had for a while and a lot of the new stuff that I picked up this year. These were all from Goodwill on a 50% off day way back in the beginning of the year when they still had 50% off days. And then some corn I got from an estate find and then these little guys, this is just like plastic confetti. I probably got that at a dollar store. Candle holders. On this level, these are ceramic painted turkeys. And these are old. And I've got lots of turkey honeycomb die cuts. There's so many of them, you guys. I love them so much. I wasn't even able to fit all of them up here, but they're so beautiful. There's so many different colors and different styles. These are so much fun. I probably have about five other ones too, but these are the ones I decided to display this year. This one is super fun, but it's hard to get together because this one comes apart in a lot of pieces. But super fun detail on that one. Then of course I have some die cuts in the back. I think there's a Snoopy one back here being hidden. Let's find this guy. Thank goodness for friends. So cute. And this was, let's see, 1965. And then I have this lovely lady. She's almost seen her last Thanksgiving. She is in rough condition, but I had to save her. <laughs> And I, yes, I could put resin on the back and save her, but sometimes I just don't even know if it's worth it. I 
can try to hang her up someplace and see if she'll last. She sure is cute. Maybe I'll run into another one and then I can feel better about replacing her. At a garage sale, I got this wooden guy. He is so cool. I love the detail on him so much. And then there's this cat. And I got both of these for a dollar a piece. So cute. Moving back to the shelf, I've got these little cuties right here. These are probably not vintage, but they are adorable and I had to add them. And then, official turkey taster. <laughs> this is a Hallmark pin. Let's see, is there a date on this one? 1981. That is so funny, I love that. And then a cornucopia pin. This little girl right here. And this turkey. Let's see, does this have a date? This one does not, but I'm pretty sure these are all from the 80s. And then that turkey, which is another beautiful with the blue in it. Then I have a ton of girly candles. These are so cool. There's a bunch of different ones. These guys right there. This is cool because these even still have all the information right there. 35 cents. Way cool. Let's see, these ones, those ones don't have it, but these ones, yeah, and these ones were 29 cents. There's some die cuts in the back there. You can see how cute those are. The little frog. <laughs> Turkey. Those guys, and I love this right here. I just love them giving thanks. That is just a ceramic napkin holder. But I love that. And I found that at an estate sale. There's the cabinet once again. You guys are curious what I'm keeping down here. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. But I've got all of my candles in there. And I love this because there's a drawer right here, but this right here opens up, which is really cool. <laughs> More candles. I got a scent for every season. <laughs> so I have these two vintage canisters. And what I do is I put different color cookie cutters in them depending on what holiday it is. So we just got done with Halloween, so I did green, black, orange, and now I've got these copper ones in here, red, orange, and yellow. I think it turned out really good. I'm excited to do green and red for Christmas. Then I just have this, this is new. This is one of those Ray Dunn things, but I love the Be Grateful. And the owl. Um, these are like salad tongs, I think. My good friend Sandy got those for me. I love them so much. Those are from Pottery Barn. And then these are from Christopher's grandma. Um, passed away and we kind of inherited those. This was an awesome score, you guys. This I got for a dollar at a yard sale. I couldn't even believe it. If you guys know anything about this brand, you know that those are expensive stoneware. And of course, you know, I've got my gather candle. <laughs> this smells so good, you guys. If you've never smelled this one, you have to. Let's see what the scent on that one is. This is bourbon glazed apples, maple sugar, creamy vanilla with essential oils. And man, it does, it smells like Thanksgiving feast and then you brought out the pie. So, so good. Yeah, there's my little Thanksgiving corner in the inside my kitchen if you guys want a sneak peek. <laughs> this is what this is what I had before I got my cabinet and I desperately needed a place to put all of my stuff. So these are all of the little toys, all of little knick-knacky things. There's an old spice tin. These are cute. You guys haven't seen these in a pick or treat video yet. <laughs> but that will be next year and then of course some stuff up there but yeah I'm slowly putting the Halloween away and slowly getting the Thanksgiving now put away and now we're moving on to Christmas Woohoo! 
This should be a lot of fun. And one more Halloween thing before he gets put away, but this is Count Bangle Barbecue. I put a cape on him and his medallion. <laughs> this is in our kitchen. And then I added a little uh, triangle of hair right there. But that was fun for Halloween. Harris and my son really enjoyed having that. The Count Bangle. <laughs> I might as well show you guys where I've been storing everything. So our laundry room slash den slash garage is where I've been storing all of this stuff. So there's all the blow molds basically. And then Chris put a pipe up there and I'm storing all my buckets right there. And then we move a little further back right here. There's all our posable skeletons for our yard haunt displays. And a new shelf this year is where all the motionettes go. So this is definitely coming in handy because I am running out of room. I'm going to have to do a major sale next year. <laughs> I can't keep all of this, you guys, <laughs> as much as I would love to. There's just, it's not enough room. So, ah, I'll enjoy it while I have it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this Thanksgiving video. I am so grateful for all of our viewers, all of our subscribers, everybody who leaves a comment, leaves a like. You guys have no idea how much it warms our heart to see that every time we post a video. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, whatever it is that you are doing. And you guys, please take care, and we'll see you in the next video.